What's up guys and welcome back to Up The Humbugs, Housestead Town and uh, I'm actually recording this episode a little bit earlier than I thought I would. Um, originally, I believe I said I was going to play the, um, I want to say the Saffron, maybe Stanway game. I don't know if it wasn't on the schedule or if I just missed it completely, um, but we've got an FA Cup game <laughs> against Scholing. Uh, we've got our first qualifying round game to play. Now, we are going into this as underdogs. Where is the... Um, is it here? Oh, it's here. Here is the, uh, the news article that came through. Scholing are current favourites for uh, this game. However, they've been uh, having a torrid time over in the Southern League Premier South. Currently bottom of the league, three points from seven games. Um, a goal difference of minus 10 already. So it's not been great for them. Um, so I, I think it gives us a little bit of hope, considering we've had a pretty good start to the season. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> we dropped further points. We played Great Wakering and lost. We took the lead in the 73rd minute through a Jordan Pavitt free kick. However, they came back and they scored three times in, uh, well, that's three times in, se oh God, three times in seven minutes. I, I didn't even, re didn't even realise that at the time of uh, watching the game. Three goals in seven minutes finished us off and we were unable to secure any points against Great Wakering. But we regroup and we go again and now we have our FA Cup game. Now remember, there are four qualifying rounds. So this is the first one. If we get through here, we've got a good chance of making the first round proper. That would be unbelievable. Um, it's going to be tricky, but hey, we can only play who's in front of us. And we're fortunate to be matched up against Sholing, a team struggling at the moment. Um, and as you can see, we've got quite a few fitness worries in the squad. Let me have a look and see what I can do to sort this out. Okay, this is how we're going to line up. I, not too many changes. We've got uh, the usual back line, a slightly different midfield. Griffiths is going to come in and play on the right-hand side simply because Melligan uh, took a knock in the uh, Wakering game. Not quite fit to play the full 90. Um, and then, of course, we've got Dennis filling in for our injured Dutton. So, far from full strength, but... I fully believe the boys have got enough about them to get the job done. I only hope we have the stamina to do so because stamina seems to be something that is holding us back recently. Conceding three goals in the last sort of seven minutes of the game, not great. So um, let's see. Hopefully we, uh, we're going to have a positive result here. And we are off again. Sholin in terrible form. Five losses in their last five games. Um, we are currently off the back of three wins and two losses. Hopefully we could turn things around. If we were to lose this, I, I would be disappointed. I know we're coming in as the underdogs, but considering the form we're both in, I'd be very disappointed as an early corner comes into the box and it's cleared away by Gamble. Coco Lakis picks it back up, plays it to Griffiths. Griffiths with the shot, and I tell you what, not a bad effort from the lad. Again, filling in. Not somebody we would go for. He is, I mean, I think he's not even rated one star in terms of like the senior team. Um, certainly not really ready to be playing at this level. But we have no choice. Right, we're on the attack again. Busby plays it forward to Joseph. He takes a heavy touch, loses out, and now Sholin with an opportunity to attack. They found a great ball through the middle. They go out wide for Hesketh. Who cuts inside, ball over the top for Gamble. First time volley. It's a great goal. But I feel like I, I feel like that's saveable. I guess we'll see in the replay. I, I feel like Cherry could have saved that. We certainly did deal with it defensively. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at the runners. There's two, two people who run off the midfield uh, men. And Gamble. I mean, who is that with Gamble? Duncan. He's got to be getting tighter to his man. Close to being offside as well. We'll look here. He looks like he's being played on. Yeah, it definitely looks like he's being played on side. Oh, Christ. One nil down. Apologies if the recording just screwed up. I think I clicked something I wasn't supposed to. Um, but we're back. Don't worry about it. We're back. 
creeping up to half time again we've had the better xg arguably the better chances yet we find ourselves trailing um to quite a poor goal as well but i'm, I'm not even impressed by it i know it was a volley not impressed by it in the slightest um i want a much better display in the second half boys it's as simple as that really we're gonna go out we're gonna attack it's a cup game we've got nothing to lose let's go for it yalla second half the crowd is pumped the boys reacted very well to the uh to the team talk and we're ready to go out and win in the second half as joseph early attack down the left hand side goes towards the byline cuts back to busby who cuts back to gilbert gilbert it's a great start to the second half yes boys kane gilbert gets his fourth goal of the season and it is literally the perfect start to the second half joseph with the run gets to the byline just what you want your wingers to do he cuts back passes it to busby he's made a great inside run and gilbert has the composure to turn and almost finesse it into the top right corner great start to the game preston free kick from deep he goes short to coco coco looks for a ball over the top pavitt unable to get on the end of it and again a ball through the middle this time cut out by griffiths First pass is good, second pass was cut out. Pavitt, Gilbert, two on his left hand side, overloading. He goes for Pavitt in the middle, great first touch, and oh, I was going to say an even better second touch, but it's off the post. I think it took, a, it took a touch from the keeper. Great save in the end. Gilbert now with the corner, whips it in, and eventually is cleared away. Griffiths, ah, loose touch, and Hesketh can carry it away for the home side. Oh, we've come out firing in this second half. Corner to the home team. Sholin, McLean to take it. As a couple of our players are looking quite tired. Preston in particular. Ball goes in. Oh, it's a header. Jack Cherry manages to save. Flanagan keeps it alive. Plays it to McLean. Castle back to McLean. Ball in towards the back post. No one's there. And Duncan, probably unnecessarily, heads it behind for a corner. Can Sholin... Uh, capitalise on the pressure Esketh into the box cleared away by Busby this time and it goes out for a throw was that our throw? did they leave that? that was odd let's make some subs right um, Preston looks absolutely knackered let's get oh, Jordan Roberts on Joseph is looking pretty tired too can I justify bringing off one of our best players, though, in the cup? I feel like I can. I think we get Melligan on. We know he can make a difference. Let's get him on. The others will have to suck it up. Let's see if Melligan can make the difference. Back from his injury. Only a slight injury. 65 minutes played. And uh, I'd say we've had the better of the game. Possession isn't everything, but we've largely dominated the ball. Here we are again from a throw. Duncan, Simon Parson, Roberts, Dennis, to Melligan. Here we go. Fresh off the bench. Fresh legs down the right hand side. Melligan into the box. It's headed away. Roundall ends up hoofing that down the pitch. And it's cut out by Duncan. Very good interception. Gilbert finds Melligan. Great first touch. Passes man. Melligan into the box. Shoots. And go, Melligan. Off the bench. Doing what he does best. Contributing to the goals, whether it's assisting, scoring, he's always there, always involved. And you might say that's an absolutely genius move by the manager. 2-1. Now, the question is, do we shut up shop a little bit? I'll go balanced. I'm not going to go defensive. We're going to time waste frequently, be more disciplined, out of possession. I'm not going to press them as much. Um, and I want to... Uh, that's that's about it. I don't want to change too much, just in case we will make another sub. I think now we get Joseph off, and I'm tempted to bring on. Oh, who's the best fit for that position? Grant Watt. Apparently, we'll bring on Watt. Um, <sighs> we could make another sub. Gilbert's quite tired as well. We'll just do that for now. Let's make sure we keep this result now. Two one. Again, it's another away fixture. Was I, I believe the FA Cup game before this was an away fixture as well, which makes it just as hard, especially when you're a, a team in the lower leagues. 
Corner for Sholin. Please don't do this. Headed away by Busby. Good clearance. Adams picks it up. Hesketh again. Back to Adams. Edge of the box. He might go for a shot here. He's closed down by Simon Parson. And the shot eventually comes in. Hits the bar and goes out for a goal kick. Tense. Oh dear, my players are dying. 83 minutes played. Oh, it, oh God, it's another corner. They're all over us. It's another corner. Hesketh. Plays it in. Cleared away by Dennis. Only as far as Roundall and... Was that Cherry who got a hand to that? Somebody blocked it or saved it. It was a brilliant block. McLean. Hoofs on towards Hesketh. Back post. Hesketh. Oh my God, it's come off the bar. It's come off the bar. What? Get rid of it, boys. And Busby. Oh, Jesus, boys, please. Let's go short to pass in. Five minutes left to play. Let's... Get some fresh legs on. I'm going to take Gilbert off. We're going to bring on um, back. And play five at the back now. Um, do I bring on Turkman as well? I think I do. Dennis off, Turkman on. And that's the final sub of the game. Let's make sure we see this through. The second round qualifying beckons. Oh, it's another set piece. Well, it's not a set piece. It's a throw in. Well, it is a set piece. Oh, no. What is that tackle? Who the hell has just done that? Oh, Simon Parsons. Why would you do that? Oh, he's been sent off as well. I'm not surprised. That is the worst tackle I've ever seen on Football Manager. Oh, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Do we get a replay? This goes to penalties, doesn't it? I think we need to try and hang on for penalties now. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm going to leave Meligan up. Meligan on attack. Have it up there. Everyone else back. Oh, Christ almighty. Davis steps up. Cherry. Oh, goes the wrong way. And Sholin are back in it. 90th minute. What was Simon Parson thinking? 2-2. Oh, Five minutes of stoppage time. Can we maybe get a goal? Or do we hang on for penalties? Uh, I can't I can't justify going attacking with 10 men. Does it go straight to pens or is it extra time? Full time. Oh, we have a replay? Okay, we'll take it. Fine. Oh, dear. I've got to sympathise with the players. It's an absolutely outrageous decision from our vice captain of all people um, to just absolutely chop down the opposition player in the box. 90th minute. Mental. What a game that was. 7-5. Jesus. Oh, dear. Nobody said anything. Mm. Nobody on Twitter or whatever social media this is said anything about the tackle. Right, Simon Parson. <laughs> Bad for one game. I mean, yeah. Uh, we're not going to bother appealing. There's no not a chance it gets overturned. When do we play that game again now? Oh, immediately. Three days later. Fantastic. Right. Bear with me. We're getting back into this. Here we go. Round two. And um, we've, we've done the draw. Um, where is it? We will be playing against none other than Braintree Town. Should we get past um, and through into the second qualifying round? That's going to be quite a difficult um, match. A team in the Vanarama National League South. They're, what, three steps higher than us? Two steps? Two steps higher? Um, it's going to be a, a tough, tough game. Um, and they're doing all right this season as well. They've had a, a half-decent start. Tenth, three wins, one draw, and three losses. But we can't focus on that. We have to focus on the team in front of us, which is Scholing. And uh, I, I feel like we outplayed them last game. So I can only hope we do that again. But, of course... We will be without Simon Parson. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, let's go ahead and see who can replace him. It's going to have to be Turkman. It's going to have to be Turkman. Um, oh, we've got quite a few tired players. Who else can I put on the bench? Turkman. Dutton is close to being back from injury, but not quite there yet. I don't have any young midfielders. It's crazy. Crazy. Um... We'll put Kane Martin on the bench. 
he could potentially come on. And then in terms of uh, tired players, Busby not quite fit. We can, however, get Melligan back in to start for us. I, I think that's all we do. All right, let's do it, boys. Deja vu. We've proved that we can beat them. We should have beaten them. So I'm, I'm sure we can do it again in front of the home fans as well, who have turned up in their masses. All 10 season ticket holders must be here. <laughs> I'd love to know, how said, if you see this video, I, obviously I know you're sort of following the series and supporting on on X. How many season ticket holders do you have? If you have that information, let me know. Um, I'm sure you've got more than 10. As we go quite close to scoring within the first five minutes, it's a great start from us. Very positive. And we're on the attack again. Busby with a throw. Pavitt back to Busby. Turkman. Will he have a shot here? Space has opened up for him. Oh, he does have a go. And it's just wide. Not a bad effort from the youngster. Jordan Pavitt free kick. Oh, Jordan Pavitt free kick. His fifth goal of the season. I mean, that looked very simple. Very simple. He's just floated it over the wall. Let's see that again. Did it take a deflection off the wall? Either way, it's beautiful. What a free kick. What a start to the game. 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes. Joseph now with a slightly deeper free kick. He whips it in towards precedence cleared. And now Sholin have the opportunity to counter-attack. If he finds a good pass, gambles through. He is. And Gamble puts it in the back of the net. Oh, how have we conceded from our own free kick? That is terrible defending. <sighs> Sholin with a lifeline. God damn it. Boys, look at this. Oh, why are we running? Why are we not chasing him? Who was this? Just wasn't quick enough. Busby. Oh, Busby. Deep free kick for Davis. Can we emulate what they just did? No, is the answer to that. No. It's 2-1. All right, I'm demanding more from the boys. This is ridiculous. We started so well, and we've just conceded two incredibly sloppy goals. I'm not happy. Coco with a throw in. Melligan whips it towards the back post. Joseph is there. They both miss the ball. Joseph collects. Back to Busby. Busby, first time cross towards the back post. Melligan's there. And it's cleared away to Hesketh. And now they can counter again. Gillam. Back to McLean. Kind of slowed down the attack a little bit. Gamble. Manages to knock it back for Adams. Adams cuts inside. Good tackle there by Busby. Turkman now. Launches the ball forwards, looking for Pavit, but it's a bit too far ahead of him. But they've given away the ball. Very loose pass. Jordan Pavit, twisting and turning, trying to find someone to pass to. Finds Melligan in acres of space. Melligan! To the byline. Go on. Back in. Dennis! Oh, no. It's blocked. Great passage to play. Corner. Duncan to take. Still can't believe he's the best corner taker we've got. On this side of the pitch. Ball in. Cleared away. Can we keep the attack alive? Can something happen from this? Towards the back post. It's knocked on again. And the highlight ends. We're all over them. We have to make this count. Pavic with a free kick. Again. Busby. Joseph's there. Joseph's up. And Joseph heads it over. End to end stuff in this game. Melligan. Oh, this is a lovely pass. McLean nearly took him out. He would have been sent off. Joseph finds Busby. Busby with the inside run. Dennis! Oh, it's off the post. Twice he's come close. Dennis the menace. How have we only scored one goal so far? They've had three shots on target and they've scored two of them. To be fair, we've had two shots on target. We've scored one of them. 40 minutes played. Shut up, assistant manager. Madel with the goal kick. It's a terrible goal kick. Joseph now. We're getting forwards. All together. Busby. Joseph. To the byline. Puts it in. And it's a penalty. It's McLean. Will he get sent off? He's given a warning. No way. How has he not been given a second yellow? Uh, I don't know what my player's doing there. Gilbert. Puts it in. 2-2. Two, two. A little bit of karma, maybe, from the last game. I'm shocked that that player didn't receive a second yellow. Um, but, do you know what? Whatever. 2-2. Two, two, we're back in the game. What a first half of football this has been.
FA Cup, baby. Okay, 2-2 two, two at half-time. Uh, yeah, I'm pleased with the number of shots we're taking. I just need us to put it in the back of the net a little bit more. Pavit, come on, mate. You scored a banging free kick. Get out there. Get us another goal. 2.25 XG compared to their 0 0.32. And it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, dear. Are we in for another action-packed second half? Something tells me yes. As Gilbert picks the ball up, turns. He's got so much time. Dennis. Oh, lovely through ball for Pavit. Is he onside? He was on side. Corner to come. Duncan to take. In your own time. Duncan whips it in towards Pavit. Oh, both him and the keeper went for the ball. And eventually it's cleared by Flanagan. Preston's going to race after it. Highlight over. Yes. <laughs> Corner. Gilbert whips it in towards Dennis. He's come so close today. Preston. Turkman, Busby, Gilbert in great space. Gilbert, back post, Pavit! Jordan, mate, come on. Just checking out Preston, Busby, Dennis, Gilbert, Joseph, all looking knackered. Oh, I was going to make a sub. Let's let this free kick pan out. Jordan, please. You scored one. Can he make it two in one game? If anyone can, Jordan can. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Gilbert, Preston, from range. Preston puts it past. Oh, it's a corner. Right, we are going to make a sub. I highly doubt we're going to score from this corner. So let's make a few changes. Um, we'll get Beck on. Uh, sorry, back on. That makes, that sounds very strange. Let's get back on. Um, Roberts, no. Dennis. Could bring on Martin. We'll do this. We'll play Martin forwards. We'll play a 4 1 5. Oh, we're going for this, aren't we? Um, and we'll bring on Griffiths for Joseph as well. Come on, boys. I believe. 15 minutes left to play. Let's encourage the boys. We're going to go. We're, we're at home. We'll go uh, attacking. We're at home. Oh, no. Oh, crossbar. Get it away. Pavit. Surely not. Can we counter? Pavit. Find a pass. Oh, Pavit. The pass is there. All you've got to do is slip him through and he's in. Oh, so poor. If they score now, I'm going to be gutted. No, it goes out of play. What an opportunity. 2.97 XG, by the way. We have a throw. Busby to Turkman. Busby, four pass for Gilbert. It's a nice pass. I love direct passes like that. Gilbert oh, looks for a ball in behind. It's not good enough, though. Quality, boys. And now Sholin on the attack themselves. Flanagan, Davis, out wide for Hesketh. First time volley across the box. Cleared away. But Hesketh is going to put in, an, in another ball, I imagine. Here he goes, and it's 3-2. Jake Adams. Oh, boys. Let's go slightly more direct. We're staring down the barrel of an early exit. Well, I say an early exit. An exit from the FA Cup. I, I think we've done very well regardless. It would be nice to get through and play against Braintree Town. Could make a little bit of money off that as well. 88 minutes played. Let's make changes. Grant Watt is coming on. We're going to take Gilbert off. Watt on. Two up top. We'll have him as a target forwards. Target forward. Forwards. Uh, we'll bring on Roberts as well for Coco. Attack. Busby. Attack. Melligan. Attack. Up fists. We're trying everything now. Absolutely everything. Throwing a kitchen sink at them. Very attacking. Here we go. Watt knocks it down for Pavit. Pavit plays it out wide for Melligan. Melligan, the hero from the bench. Well, not from the bench. He started this game. What am I talking about? Roberts. Griffiths! Oh! It should have been a goal. 92 minutes played. Get up there. Come on. 
distribute over op- distribute to target man quickly take long kicks anything anything at all oh, and it's over and we lose 3-2 to Sholin in the reverse fixture we should have beaten them oh Look at the XG, 3.59 compared to their 0.76. We've been well and truly FM'd. Simon Parsons, hang your head in shame. You've absolutely let us down. <sighs> what a silly tackle. Silly, silly boy. Should find him. Diaper, please. He's called Dave Diaper. Brilliant. We got 750 quid for losing. Had we got through, what would just out of interest, I, I probably shouldn't look at this. If we had got through, how much money would we have got? We would have got 2.3 2.3k for getting through. Instead, we got 750 quid, and then we probably would have just come away with a grand for losing against Braintree. Oh, it's unreal. Oh dear. What a load of crap. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. I'm sorry we couldn't bring you uh, any FA Cup glory this season. But we've had a good showing. We, we made it through two rounds. Should have made it through the first qualifying round. Unfortunately, the cards were stacked against us, literally. Um, time to regroup and go again. I will be back for the Lower Breck and Takely game. Um, hopefully we can turn our form around it's dipped somewhat in the last five games just one win I'm sure we can turn it around the boys it's just a lot of games in a in a very small amount of time and we do have injury wise we've got um, Sonny Dutton on his way back seven days to two weeks we might see him soon thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe it's much appreciated leave a comment down below did we get FM'd did um, Simon Parsons cause us to lose? Or am I being too harsh? Let me know. <laughs> and I will see you for the next episode.